Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another video. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, Britney Spears. So, I've been a fan, obviously, since the very beginning, and I've been a mega fan ever since. I actually have three favorite artists, which is Cher, Britney, and Madonna. Um, not necessarily in that order, but anyway. So, I've followed Britney since the beginning. And let me tell you what. So I went to, I, I've like always watched these videos of her performances and stuff like that. And I know everything, you know, that's going on. I read all the stuff on Breathe Heavy and stuff like that. Um, but I really want to say how incredible a performer that she actually is. So, I, uh, <laughs> it's really funny because when she was doing her mall tour, way back when, um, they announced it on our radio station. I don't think that she ever came to ours, but they were talking, the radio DJs were talking about it. And, um, I was in the car with my mom and I said, well, if she comes around here, can I go see her? Well, I don't think that she ever did. Um, obviously, I would have heard about it or I would have went. But, so, fast forward to 2017, May 17th, 2017. I finally got to see Britney Spears live in concert. And the Instagram videos and the... I don't even think that professional videos really do her any justice at all with her performance and just being there to experience it. Uh, it was an absolutely incredible night. The Brittany and the um, crowd fed off each other's energy. It was insanely crazy. She came out very confident. Uh, no one missed a beat. It was absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, so, anyway, to tell you a funny story about this, so when we were waiting in line, uh, to go into the, the actual theater part, so, the security guards tell us to get up against the wall, and of course everyone's playing on their phones and stuff, besides me and my mom. And no one noticed this at all, but um, until the security guard said, okay, everybody against the wall, and the girl beside me that was playing on her phone, and she's like, why do we need to get against the wall? And the security guard gave the excuse that people with the wheelchairs were coming through, and, you know, we didn't want to get ran over. So then everybody went playing on their phones again, and Brittany's brother walked by, no one even noticed, and of course, I'm not going to say anything because I'm not that type of person to cause a scene. And I'm just sitting there nudging my mom with my elbow, like, oh my god. And I didn't say anything to anyone until after he left, other than my mom. But it was pretty awesome. <clears throat> and, yeah, it was pretty awesome. I also got to see, um, oh my god, what is his name? Ludacris. Um, coming off from the same airplane that I was going on when we were leaving Vegas, yes. Because we were waiting to... He was coming in because he was doing the Billboard Music Awards or whatever, I think. Or some sort of award show. And, um... Me and my mom are leaving. But, anyway. Yeah, so, Vegas is a really nice city, actually. I was really surprised. But, anyway, getting off topic. Uh, so, talking about, let's talk about Britney's concerts for a second. So, my favorite... My favorite is uh, her Dream Within a Dream tour, her Live from Las Vegas. The concert that I went to was my second favorite. 
That's because, I mean, Dream Within a Dream is just, you know, it is what it is, and everybody knows that. But, I mean, it's definitely a night that I'll never forget. I took my mom, which was really cool because, you know, we had talked 20 years prior, you know, about Bernie doing the mall tour and coming coming to ours, hopefully, maybe, but she never did. But, anyway. Yeah, it was such a great night. And it really sucks because my mom has a broken foot. She had her foot fixed in two spots, so she didn't really get to stand that much. And people were, there was like a bunch of drunk people in front of us, and they were really obnoxious, but... Anyway, <clears throat> the surround sound system in the Planet Hollywood Theater is amazing, by the way. Um, the music was just thumping through our bodies. It was crazy. Um, probably, I don't know. I was going to go see her circus tour and her Onyx Hotel tour, but we all know what happened with her Onyx Hotel tour. She... Um, she had to have knee surgery uh, for her Onyx Hotel tour, so she canceled that. And I had already bought the tickets. It was to Hershey Park. And I don't know what happened. Oh, our vehicle uh, <laughs> crapped the bed before we were supposed to go see her circus tour. So that's why we missed the circus tour. Um... But I was determined. I I spent my tax money, all of it, on the 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 tickets, the hotel, the airplane. Well, I had to wait to buy the airplane tickets because that was the most expensive part of the entire thing. So I live over here in New York, and Vegas is a really far trip. <laughs> um, probably. One of my favorite Britney songs. Oh my god. There's so many underrated songs. I think Lonely is one of my all-time favorite songs. She's just so feisty and her attitude comes out and her southernness comes out. I love it. Um, I really love how she sings Bombastic Love. Uh... Cinderella is a really good one. Um, you know, breathe on me, touch my hand. You know, uh, I think that I love more of her non singles than I, I do her actual singles. Like, I love them more than her singles most of the time. Um, I really love the fact that, um, she. Um, creates an escape for people. Whether it's through her performances or through her music. Because I really love that she doesn't concentrate on all the mushy ballad -y stuff for the most part. Because she wants you to escape your life and have a good time. That's what it's about. Um... You know, Celine Dion and, and Whitney Houston, so many others can do all that stuff. But no one can do dance music like Britney. Um, I mean, obviously people do dance music, but I don't know. I just love Britney's style. I mean, the I just love her style. Um, I really love her, her dancing because she has her own style. She's an incredible dancer. Um, I mean, really, she's up there with the, the Jacksons. There's Michael and Janet and Brittany. The, that's my, those are my three favorite dancers. Um, and some of my best performer, favorite for performers. So... <clears throat> Oh, and another song that I really love is He About to Lose Me. I really love that song. Um, let's see. 
If I had to rate Britney CDs, let's rate the Britney CDs. So, people will probably kill me over my, um, my opinion on this. But, so, let's go from best, or most favorite to least favorite. Because she doesn't have, you know, there's nothing that I hate you. So, you go from your most loved to that you listen to every track all the time, you have that CD playing all the time, to the CD that you really don't play all the time. So, I don't know. I uh, So, I think Glory is my favorite. I really, really love Glory. It's so... Um, different for her and different from anything that she's done before. Um, and it's extremely underrated and that she should have released so many singles off from that. I think that Liar should have been a single. Um, oh my god. <sighs> It's right on the top of my head. Cross the line. Change your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. Liar. And love me down. You know. They should have been singles. Definitely. On top of Slumber Party and Make Me. I loved Make Me on first listen. I really, really, really loved the music video for Slumber Party. I think that that was um, very stylistically and fantastically done. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I, my mood changes. Okay, I base my favorites on my mood. But my mood changes between Glory, Femme Fatale, and Blackout. Those are my three favorites. So, Femme Fatale, Glory, and Blackout. Not necessarily that in that order, because it all depends on the mood, and it switches all the time. And then, uh, In the Zone, Circus, Brittany, Then Britney Jean, and then, uh, oops, I did it again, and then Baby One More Time. That's how I'd rate her CDs. So. <clears throat> Tours? Oh, boy. So, Tours. Uh, obviously, the um, Dream Within a Dream is her best one. In my opinion, anyway. <clears throat> I think that her piece of me residency, especially the concert that I went to, because the concert that I went to is incredible. I think that that's my second favorite. And then I think the Onyx Hotel tour. And then... Um, oh, Lord. And then her circus tour... And then her oops tour, you know, and then it keeps going. But, um, how I really classify my favorites is, it's a combination of things. It's the whole package. It's the costumes. It's the dance routines. It's the set list, which is very important. It's, uh, Brittany's confidence and where she was at at the time and, the whole nine yards, the whole package is how I um, am critical on things, or base my opinion anyway. So, <clears throat> and it's it's really crazy. I I've been such a mega obsessive fan. Well, not obsessive, but yeah. Um, and I absolutely, I think that, I, I love how she has two different personas, how she is a real humble, 
down-to-earth human being. Probably, I mean, she is the most humble celebrity I've ever seen. I have not seen one single other person that's more humble than Britney Spears. <clears throat> she is extremely um, down-to-earth, and she is completely different when she's on stage, okay? So when she's on stage, she's confident, she's professional, and she's very in the zone, no pun intended. Um, and then when she's off stage, she's vulnerable, and she's uh, very shy, and, you know, she's, you know, very sweet, and... You know, there's completely two different personas. It's like night and day. And that's what I really love about her is that she creates an escape for herself and for her fans. But at the end of the day, when she walks off stage, she is just like the rest of us. I think that that's the most important. And what we all love most about her. So... <clears throat> Um, no oh boy, I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> oh, I want to see corporate animals. What happened to... Wasn't there a thing where she showed up for a very tiny piece of that movie and like a ghost of herself or something in the movie and no one no one recorded it. I haven't seen a single snippet of it. That's crazy. <clears throat> so somebody better get on the ball about that. Uh, I really did love Crossroads. I really did enjoy that movie. Um, and it's really great because she got way more comfortable in her acting role as it went along. Probably my all-time favorite uh, Britney role is uh, Amber Louise on Will and Grace. Her, her real name is Peg, but I think that that was I think that she should do way more comedy roles because her comedic timing was absolutely awesome. She shouldn't. She should do more comedy roles. She should take a year or two off from from the music business and do straight up comedy movies. It doesn't even have to be serious movies. She doesn't even have to do horror movies or anything like that, even though horror is my favorite genre. Um, but it'd be so hysterical to see Britney Spears and like Melissa McCarthy or Betty White like being the same room. I would love that. <clears throat> but let's see. Oh yeah. Uh I pretty much love all of her fragrance smells, like all of them because my French Lynn uh goes through and tries them and buys them and stuff like that, so I get to smell the different scents and I really do love prerogative um I really love obviously curious and and fantasy uh there's not really one that I really don't care for so Brittany has a good sense of smell so and obviously all of us fans wish her and hope for her success and her happiness, because at the end of the day, that's most important. <clears throat> and hopefully, someday, again, soon, we'll get to all go see her in concert, because that would be awesome. She's a really... I'm not excited to see one single other person the way that I am excited to see Britney get up on stage and perform. I don't know why she just has that 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 something that just makes you enthralled in her performance and really brings you in and captures you. <clears throat> but probably one of my favorite Britney ballads. Um Oh boy. 
Burning ballads. Uh. Don't cry. I really love Don't Cry. Um. I love Every Time. I love. Oh boy. See, I'm not I'm not much of a a, a ballady kind of person, and I'm glad that she doesn't spend too much time on that. And I really love another thing that I really love about Brittany is that <coughs> no matter um, the other uh, celebrity uh, singers and stuff like that. Even if they're dance music, they have an obnoxious amount of ballads on their albums. And it's, I just skip, 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 skip. Because when you go to work, the last thing that you want to do is blast a ballad on your stereo. No. Um, so, uh, I'm glad that when she does do a ballad, they're beautiful. But I'm glad that she concentrates on the escapism of it all. Like, yeah. So, I was going to say something, but of course I forgot again. My mind is terrible, guys. Um, but, yeah. It's just... And, and that's why I really love her, too, because she has the entire package. She is literally a perfected pop star, a perfected artist. She has the entire package. She does the clothing line, the scent line. She's a performer. She has fantastic music, um, which reminded me of what I was going to say before. And... Um, and she is humble. I love her as a person. I love her as an artist. I love her as, a, uh, the, the legend that she is. And that's what I was going to say is that she is one of the only artists where I can count on since the Britney era, because like the first two CDs, really the only really great songs on the CDs were the singles. Um, the second, uh, Oops, I Did Again only had two other songs that weren't singles that I loved, and that was What You See Is What You Get, and Don't Go Knocking On My Door. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, but I can always count on her releasing an entire package of music that I love. If I I can be guaranteed on loving at least ninety percent of the CDs since she's released them since the Brainy era. Well, Brainy, I, I loved like eighty five percent, but that's nor here nor there, and it all depends on the mood. But like in the zone, love it, blackout, circus. Femme Fatale, I can listen to start to finish. The only one that I don't... that The only song that I skip on the Femme Fatale CD is Don't Keep Me Waiting, because I just... Not my cup of tea. And Glory. I can... I can listen from start to finish. And... Yeah. Unusual You is one of my favorites, too. And also, um, Inside Out, I really love Criminal. Um, yeah, I can go on and on for days. But, uh, unfortunately, I have to get ready for work soon, so I have to end my, my video here. Well, if you... If you like what I had to say, or if you want to talk anything about Britney, let's talk about Britney. We all love Britney. We all wish her success and happiness because she truly deserves it. And 
until next time, guys, like, subscribe to my channel. Um, I have plenty more videos that are coming your way. Um, I have plenty of past videos of reviews and, you know, I'm going to be doing many more about artists in particular because I've done a lot of movie ones and a lot of show ones and now I want to do a lot of music ones. So, like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, guys, have a great day.